Hello, um, my name is Robert McDougall. Uh, I work as editor in Bradford, and uh, it's my first time I've come over here. Wow, Bradford. Uh, uh, I've also been here for a little while now. Um, so this is uh, the Raspberry Pi on here that I have. I'll just unplug that so you can see how it is. Um, what I've done on this one, uh, I wanted to run a robot chassis on a battery. So I've taken off the linear um, power regulators on the board and I've used some switch modes that are from a commercial um, power supply board on here. Uh, so the whole board's fed with 12 volts and that supplies all the voltages, the one point, it was 1.8, uh, 1.5, possibly 3.3 and 5 volts to that board. Um, and also, uh, one of the things that um, the, the Pi, the, the, the Pi I put on there because I want to do things like mapping, object recognition when the camera comes along. Um, at the moment it doesn't quite have the, the PWM and uh, there's some, all sorts of other features I wanted. And before I got the Raspberry Pi, I developed a small pick board that has an accelerometer and gyro on there as well. And the thing about the pick is it does, um, it does the P Tazzle PWM motor control in there, and it also has some quadrature encoder um, in hardware. So um, the, the pick will read the gyro and accelerometer and then pass directly on the UART link. Uh, passes that data then onto the uh, Raspberry Pi on a 11500 board rate. Um, the Pi will then process that, do, do a bit of mapping, and pass things back to the pit then, which will control control the motors on there. Um, got a rather hefty motor control on here. These are uh, VN, um, VN SP30s, I think. Um, they're about 30 amp uh, each. Those, but I'm going to be using some uh, lithium polymers. Um, the chassis that I've, I've built here um, is a similar chassis to one that I've built previously that only had two wheels. And I wanted to be able to run along to a wall, and once it hits the wall, to be able to climb up the wall and become vertical. And so I've got links, I'm, I'm actually missing a belt on one side. Um, but the, the wheels are uh, connected together. Uh, only one one's driven. Uh, Maxon uh, coreless uh, motors in there. They'll uh, will be powerful enough to actually take the uh, take the body of the robot and accelerate at such a rate that it will become vertical. So from from a flat standing start, it should be able to get. I'll be in next week's demonstration. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't managed that one yet. <laughs> um, it's still work in progress. Um, one of the one of the other things that is on here um, is a, a part of a cost saving thing. I found that uh, this is like I said, the sec second chassis that I built. One of the things that gave me a lot of control was having sensors on the wheels, having incremental sensors. And the original type of sensor was a um, a slotted disc, a very fine pitch slotted disc, a stainless steel disc, and they're about about 15, 20 pounds just for the disc, and then the same for the LED um, sensor. Um, there's some other, some other more modern ones I've got on here now, and it's actually rather hard to see, but on the, on the bottom, on the top inside there, there's a magnetic ring, uh, flat uh, magnetic ring, and then on the block up here is a Hall effect sensor. Um, it's, a, it's an Austrian company, can't quite think of the name now, but um, they're about a third of the price of the, um, the other ones. So these are a, a pair of those, about just under 10 pounds. Um, and that will give uh, 1,024 steps per revolution as a quadrature output um, on that. So you get a very fine uh, resolution, which is good for when you're looking trying to balance. And you get a good resolution on that. Um, so uh, some of the, the other things I've done on the Pi, um, one thing I did on it was uh, I've some little accelerometers that go on there. These are a fairly cheap accelerometer, 
but it's on, you can put it on a little six pin header, um, soldered straight onto the side of the, the device there. So that, uh, because there's a layout of the header on the Raspberry Pi, that will plug straight onto the top six pins and pick off three whole ground s c And so that's all you need to, to add an accelerometer onto the Raspberry Pi. Wow. Um, so I've got a few. How of much those. are they? I was selling them on eBay for a fiver for the whole thing. Um, that's um, my sort of money. So there's, uh, <laughs> there's, a, there's, a, there's a few in there. So, um, the Top end of my sort. I, I did put an article into the uh, the Magpie, and it was was a it was an article that I wrote in Magpie describing the use of the. Oh, which issue is that? You can remember? It's about number three or four. Oh, right. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so um, well, there's a bit of software as well, and so you can get. I ended up tying it to a, a, a tin can on a bit of piece of elastic, and it, you, you could plot the decayed sine wave um, on the graph uh, on the. the, graph on the so, um, one of the problems I mentioned was communicating with the Raspberry Pi at a distance. Um, the other thing I've had which has been very useful is a uh, wireless keyboard. Little, it was about um, just over £30, so not, not really very cheap. Um, but it works very well. You get a, a little dongle in there, um, and that does um, keyboard and mouse all in one. So that's, that's been handy. And uh, that would be used to control control this one six mobile. Um, so that's about it really. I hope uh, that's okay. If there's any questions, I can probably take one or two. Uh, <coughs> what are you planning on doing with the camera then? Um, when I get the when I get the final camera at the moment I've actually used a little camera here. I've not connected it up yet. That's a, a parallax um, propeller camera. But uh, rather expensive, it's about seventy pounds, and it does colour recognition. Um, not not all that quick. Yeah, um, didn't you use the propeller? The propeller's a, a um, parallel processor, isn't it? Yes. So you're going to use that for the image recognition. You're just going to do it to a way. Well, I mean that that board is a dedicated um, kind of colour recognition board, um, and it does give you an X Y output. So great then. Of the sort of centre of mass. I'm not using very much because I'm I haven't got the thing moving yet. Um, but uh, I am hoping to soon the Raspberry Pi camera comes out. Um, I believe that as a direct link, because you're cutting out USB, that should really be a lot faster. Mm. And, do, and do very good um, patching and uh, colour recognition. Um, so I'm, I'm hoping to, to use that um, for the camera. So you have to be able to follow follow an orange ball around. Very good, thank you very much indeed.